Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how we can Im implement interstitial ads inside our Flutter application. So let's get started. Before starting, you should check that you have implemented Google Ads dependency. If you, if not, you can visit pub.dev, search for Google Mobile Ads and then copy this and paste it inside your pubspec.yml. I will provide the link of this package in a description. So now another thing you have to check whether that come to Android and uh, inside app then src and then android manifest.xml make sure that you have provided the metadata for gsm ads it will be under inside application tag and if you didn't did this you can go at this website and copy that metadata i will provide the link in, in, in the description copy this and just paste it inside under the application tag and you have to replace the value with the demo add uh, app id so it is it is here add map app id sample app id why we are doing this because we are uh, testing the ads we are not uploading our apps to the play store so we have to provide the sample app id if you I want to upload your app inside play store then you make sure that you have created app on admob i have already created <coughs> video on uh, creating apps on admob and getting the uh, app id uh, it, when i made the video on banner ad so you can watch that video from <coughs> description after this uh, save hit save and then inside the same android directory inside uh, app then build.gradle Make sure that the minimum SDK version is 19 and uh, you have provide enabled the multi disk as well as you have implemented the dependency. I will provide the dependency in the video description. Now we are ready to proceed further. So come inside main.dart and make sure that you have initialized the flutter binding, uh, binding and also initialize the mobile ads and now come with where you want to use the interstitial ad so i want to show interstitial ad i want to show the interstitial ad when user clicks on show interstitial ad so i will come on the on click of the button so i will come here uh, on the on click of the button where i want to show the ads so first what i will do i will create a interstitial ad dot load I will call that function and then it requires four parameters first is add unit id second is request and another is callback so i will provide the add unit id first so for the demo app we have a add unit id for interstitial ad is uh, this this is for ios this is for android sorry this is for android so copy this interstitial id and <coughs> paste it here and this for the ios we have interstitial add id is this okay so copy this and another what we will do we will paste it here so it requires condition we have not provided any condition so we need to check the platform in which platform our app is running to do this first we need to import the dot dot io package and we will show the platform class after this we can use platform dot is android then we will show the uh, interstitial app unit id for android otherwise the interstitial app id for the ios okay now it requires add request so we will use the add request function uh, class to load the add request and then it requires add callback so we will provide the interstitial add callback stitial add callback and then it will give me two functions we need to override this before moving on further so let's go on and add loaded and it will provide me a add variable and another is on add failed it will provide me a error for the failure so let's provide this and one by one we will come inside this and 
when add is loaded we will initialize the first uh, when add is loaded we will do something but when the add got failed we will print the error debug print err dot to dot message why our add got failed we will got the message and now on the add loaded method what i will do i will create a variable for our interstitial add so interstitial add interstitial add now inside the interstitial add we will come inside on add loaded and we will inter interstitial add equal to add initialize this okay now we are ready so what we will do we will show the interstitial add dot show okay we will, we will need to check whether it is null or not next thing we need to do is now we can load the add but uh, we need something more because when the user clicks on add or user dismisses the add we need to do something here i we have shown only the add but we let's see how it looks so when i click on show interstitial add it will show the add okay add is shown so when the user clicks on cross we need to do something or we need to switch to the other screen so to implement this we need to we need to go, come below the interstitial add add load callback and we will use interstitial add load dot full screen content callback and here interstitial okay full screen content callback full screen add load full screen content callback and now we will provide this semicolon and we need to override two function on add to failed to show full screen content first is this and on add dismissed full screen content that is user dismiss the add so first we will override on on add failed to show full screen content callback so it will give me a add and error message why our add got failed and another is on add on add dismissed full screen content callback so we will get a add variable so what i we will do we will dispose the add, this add and also we will dispose the interstitial add which we have made previous and inside this on add fail to show what we will do we will dis dispose the add and uh, and the error should be printed so debug print error error dot message okay and we are ready and also we will dispose the interstitial add dot dispose now we are ready so when the user click uh, dismisses the add so we need to do some actions or we need to switch the screens so to do this i here i will switch the screens so what i will do inside the uh, on add dismiss full content i will navigate to another screen navigate dot push and now we are ready so let's restart and see show our interstitial add okay we got an error because the interstitial add is null so we need to move this code that is full screen content code inside the on add loaded method because we are initializing this interstitial add inside a on added callback so we need to provide the function or full screen content callback inside on add loaded so it's a mistake okay when i click on so interstitial add and when i dismiss the interstitial add we should move to the next screen and we are so in this way you can implement interstitial add in flutter make sure you have provided the full screen content callback on site on add loaded function i have uploaded all the uh, add implementation in inside flutter you can watch that watch all the videos of add mob add uh, from a video description uh, from the playlist pinned in in the video description thanks for watching